creative friends welcome to my channel and in this video is actually a trip to the RV and manufactured home museum uh, in where was it Elk or Clear Clearfield uh, Elkhart, Elkhart, Indiana. Oh Elkhart Indiana I don't know why I want to say Clearfield anyway Elkhart Indiana it was really cool but it's part of our day uh, three trip from Connecticut to Oregon to go home and it's 11 minutes long so I decided to put it as its own video so if you want to watch that that's cool I just want to start off by saying I'm sorry I said cute so many times I good lord <laughs> I probably said cute a hundred times in 10 minutes so just be prepared know it's there and if you if it bugs you and you feel like you need to count how many times just go right on ahead because I felt that way anyway I didn't realize it until I watched it that everything was cute but anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. All right, friends, here we are at the RV Hall of Fame and Museum. I'm super excited about this. This is cool. And look, the, the snow, it's all melting off. It's beautiful and sunny. That should tell us how our day is going to go. So we're going to head into the RV and Motorhome Hall of Fame and Museum. I can't wait. We're in here, this is super funny. I mean, think about it, seriously. There is the first RV. I don't know if it's for recreation, but there it is, there's the first one. And then they have this super cute little teardrop. You could take a picture. I think these are so cool. My dad and I used to talk about building one of these. Look at this, the little kitchen in the back. I totally think that would be a blast. All right, now we get to go into the theater and we're going to see a video and then we're going to check it out. Okay, this is broken up into different areas and we're going into the Go RVing Hall, which is all the newest. So we're going to work from the newest models. This is going to be great. And there's a whole history here of all the camping places, all kinds of stuff. Go RVing Steps Up Phase 3. Oh, and it's the RV and Manufactured Home Museum. I thought the MH was for motorhome, but it's not because they have a whole thing that's going to open in, I think he said July, for manufactured homes, which is cool. So we're going to go look inside of this new one. This is super cute. It's a little Shasta. That's so fun. Check this out. Oh, I love the colors. That was cute. Let's go check out some more. Okay, now we're going into the RV Founders Hall. Super cute. They have this road that goes along. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. So cute. My parents had an Airstream. They actually, yeah, they had one. So fun. Okay, so we're going to start looking at these. Which one's this? 1913 Earl Travel Trailer and a Model T Ford. How fun. All right, I'm going to show you a couple of these as we go. Okay, this one is a 1916 Telescoping Apartment which originally sold for $100, and it is basically the world's first slide-outs. Make more room and you could put your little kitchen stuff out here. Isn't that fun? 1931 model AA Ford house car. This is amazing. So this is really cool. And it says on there, that the seats up here were added by the restorers that it was originally just a bench without backs. Look at this. And there's a pot belly stove right here. Wood stove to keep it warm. Oh my gosh, look at the radio over there. That's cool. Okay, this is adorable. It is a 1954 Holiday Rambler and I love it. It is so cute. It's got a couple little seats there. Super cute. Little kitchen. Oh my gosh, isn't this cute? I don't think... And then there's a nice big closet here. Isn't this cute? I'm going to try to do it from this end. Cute little kitchen. That's a fun little camper. Look at all these super cute campers. Oh my gosh. And that super cute guy looking at those super cute campers. <laughs> Let's see what this one is. 1954 Yellowstone Travel Trailer. Oh! <gasps> Look at this. It's got a separate door for the bedroom. That's cute. 
I like the round windows. I like the way they used to do that. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Looks like an oil stove. Looks like the Ziegler oil stove we used to have in our garage. This is cute. Here's an adorable little 1957 Cerro Scotty 10 foot teardrop trailer. And then I always loved it because they had a kitchen at the back. And you put a big awning. How cute. And then there's a 64 Coachman Cadet. Ooh. It's so pretty. I like the color green on there. Let's go in. Let's go in and take a little look. And there's your dining and your little bed. And then the kitchen. Let's see if this is a bathroom or a closet. Just a closet. I'm going to start paying attention at what years they started putting bathrooms in. So there's where we've come from. There's a lot more to do. A bounder. We always talked about one day we'll get a bounder, didn't we, huh? Yeah. What are you looking at over here? I need to take a picture. Okay. Here's a 1966 Mustang travel trailer. Let's see what's inside of here. Oh, there's a bathroom, finally. Oh, look at this. It's so 1966. This little super cool little wrought iron accent. I guess that would be your couch. Got your little table around there. And then, apparently, you shimmy behind there and go up to that bed. Wow. There you go. There's a Coachman motorhome. We actually had one very similar to that, but I think ours was a uh, jamboree. We had a jamboree almost just like that. That was fun. We've also had a camper trailer for the back or like one that goes on the back of your pickup truck we've had a travel trailer and now we got a fifth wheel so we've had all kinds that's a cute one okay this blue one is pretty cool it is technically a recreational vehicle it was built for may west as a chauffeur driven lounge car but it has like a little kitchen area sort of in here to make coffee and whatnot and very cool. May West, 1931, the May West house car. I think the coolest part of it is back here. Reminds me of the caboose on a train where you could stand out there and kind of wave at people as you go by. That's very fun. This is the 1935 Bolus Road Chief. One of only 50 remaining. Wow. That's kind of, I think that's an optical illusion that would bug me. Little kitchen out here at the end and plenty of seating and sleeping in the rest of it. But I think that that pointy end would make me a little bit crazy. Here is the travel trailer that was specifically built in 1939 for Lindbergh. And he used this when he would go traveling. But it's pretty cool inside. He was able to stay out of the, stay out of the limelight. He was kind of a kind of didn't like to be out in the public and um, so he had this built for him so that he could use it when he went around oh my gosh I cannot tell you how cute I think this is oh it is so cute look inside you have to sit down and do your dishes and stuff but that's a little bit of a refrigerator over there this is too cute this is a 1928 Pace Arrow Fleet house car that is so amazing. Look at the windows. There are so many windows and I love the little curtains. And there is the toilet, which I'll show you here. It shows the toilet. So the toilet sits across from like a sink that folds up and down. And then I gotta show you in the windows. I seriously think I was born way after my time. Well, you couldn't afford that back then either. How do you know I couldn't afford it? Maybe I'd have been a famous newspaper star or something and like at that look at the windows up at the top yeah, that's that is amazing our pickup truck camper did not look like this specifically on the outside but what happened was we went to some family friends that were actually family friends for so long i always grew up thinking they were our aunt and uncle but they had a 
1969 Ford F100 pickup truck, and it had a matching camper on it. And it was all this really pretty turquoise. They called it Robin Eggs Blue. But it had pretty much the same layout as this. And I loved it. I just loved it. It was so much fun. And that little curtain right there above that sign, that little curtain, you could look into the back of the pickup truck. It was fun. The kids used to sit back there while we drove. That was cool. But that was the same year as ours. Okay, this is a 1936 Road Home Coach. Brian said this is his favorite because you know why. I can't go in because it's got the little yellow thing. But look in the front right here. Oh, hi. Is a bathtub, which folds down to be the other couch. Isn't this neat? I wonder, oh, we can do in the windows here. It's kind of cool. That is cool. Let's see what's back here. Apparently, this is what makes into your bed. That's fun. And then the radio in here. Oh, yeah, like the GE fan. <laughs> he just pointed out that little fan right there. So his grandpa worked at GE for ever. Um, actually with like a second grade education. Third grade education. And he developed the plastics division of GE, which is amazing. Super cool guy. But there's an old fan we're bringing back. It looks just like that. And it's GE. And he used to have it in his office. And it is heavy. <laughs> Tell you what, I tried to pack that thing and it is so heavy. All right, we'll go look at some more. I got to check out this red one. Brian says it's pretty cool. It's a 1937 Hayes motorhome built by the Hayes Company of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Bore the design of the designation of motorhome long before the name specified motorized RVs. There's a full steel body to keep it varmint free. Full? Oh, cool. Let's see if I can get back in here. It was put into storage in 1940. Uh-huh. And now that it's being, being repainted, everything inside is original. Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys heard that. This was put in storage in 1940, and other than the outside being repainted, the whole inside is original. That's amazing. Okay, so upstairs is just a big library that is filled with books and resources about motorhomes and trailers and all kinds of stuff. And then I'm going to come in here because this is the view across, it's so fun. Look at it. All of the different camper trailers and little house cars and motor homes. This was a fun, nice break in our trip to take these little side jaunts. Look at that cool pop-up. That's a neat little pop-up. Anyway, okay, so we're gonna go out there get on the road for the rest of our journey.